Libya's interim oil minister said that the country will start producing oil again after months of stagnation caused by the uprisings. Heavy fighting that led to the collapse of Muammar Gaddafi's dictatorship, damaged facilities and halted work in oil fields. Ali Tarhouni said operations will resume in two of the country's oil fields on Tuesday or Wednesday, followed by two more after a few days. Recommencement of oil production will be a gradual process due to security concerns. The nation's transitional government is keen on restarting production immediately to create revenue and avoid fuel imports. Libya pumped 1.6 million barrels a day before the war. Meanwhile, the head of the International Monetary Fund has recognized Libya's National Transition Council as the nation's new government. Christine Lagarde said that the country will receive a share in the funds to be allocated for countries in the Middle East and North Africa. The IMF can actually extend an, appro an approximate total of $35 billion. Our sense at the IMF is that it's just not strategic plan implementation in the normal course of business. It really has to be focused on job creation, particularly for the young people. It has to be inclusive and it has to keep in, as a general key principle, the fact that equality is very much expected uh, by the uh, people in the region. A group of eight finance ministers also pledged $38 billion to help Tunisia, Egypt, Morocco and Jordan get back on track over the next two years. The group said Libya, now headed by Mustafa Abdel Jalil, will be invited to join the scheme. Zina Zalamea, Arroya.com, Dubai.